every year about 30,000 cases of Lyme disease are reported to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. As we know, it's transmitted through a tick bite that leaves a bullseye mark on the skin. But lately we've been hearing more about something called chronic Lyme disease. 41-year-old Darcy Karn spent months in pain without a definitive diagnosis. Listen to her story. In January of 2013, I started to have some leg pain and the leg pain then led to migraines, insomnia. I would have a stabbing muscular pain that could last anywhere from 15 seconds to 15 minutes. I also had cognitive issues where I'd get lost driving, I wouldn't know where I'm going. Laundry, I couldn't carry a laundry brush all up the stairs. Never felt that way before. Um, I always was very, very healthy, ate healthy, exercise. I was very um, mentally and emotionally exhausting to not know why. Doctors thought it was MS, fibromyalgia, um, chronic fatigue. They said that I was lazy, that it was all in my head, that I was crazy, which then led me finally nine months later to get myself tested privately for Lyme disease. And it did come back positive, and we started treatment right away. I was never bitten by a tick. I never had a bullseye, so I didn't have the typical symptoms of what you would consider Lyme. They say that you can get bit by... Um, the smallest tick, which I think is considered a mite, and you never would see it. The, the medications will manage the symptoms. I've learned patience, number one, and to be persistent, that you have to keep looking for what is wrong and not just taking that first um, diagnosis. Wow, Dr. Richard Horowitz is the author of Why Can't I Get Better? Solving the Mystery of Lyme and Chronic Disease. He's also a scientific advisory board member for the Bay Area Lyme Foundation. And welcome. Good yeah, to have you. So many people are struggling with this. Yes, it's, it's really, it's a terrible problem. It's an epidemic that's spreading worldwide at this point. What's interesting about this young lady is she said she didn't see the tick bite of the bullseye because that's what you, oh, that's, a, that's supposed to be a telltale sign, right. but not necessarily. No, in fact, the ticks are so small at this time of the year, they're like a pencil head. You can hardly see them. Right. And half the people don't get a rash, and half the people who do get a rash, it doesn't look like the bullseye. It looks like you got bit by a spider or doctors think you got an infection in right. your skin. So Something they, they missed the diagnosis. But we've heard so much about Lyme disease now that I would think when you have some of these, these symptoms that a doctor would think immediately, let's test you for Lyme disease. And isn't it just a simple blood test? It, it is, but the problem is that, that the tests are just not reliable. Mm -hmm. So if doctors do some of these tests and it's negative, they tell the patient they don't have it. But the first test that they do, it misses about half of the people who have Lyme disease. So what should you do if you go and you're feeling her symptoms, you feel fatigued, and the doctor says, no, we've already tested you for Lyme disease, you don't have it? Well, one of the most important things is to take a good history from a patient. So, for example, if you have good and bad days where your symptoms are coming and going, yeah. and it's moving around your body, where one day you've got muscle or joint pains in a shoulder, and two days later it's in your hip, and three days later it's in your knee, you have tingling, numbness, and burning that's moving around your body. Yeah. And you walk into a room and you can't remember why. You're forgetting people's names and phone numbers. Um, you're very tired. You have a stiff neck and headache. You're sensitive to sound and light. You can't fall asleep. You that keep waking like up. We're, we're nodding. We're like this. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes, we've got that. So, so then what do you do? So you have all that. Well, if you have those symptoms, Lyme is multistemic, meaning it causes many symptoms at once. Mm -hmm. So if you have these type of symptoms, you should right, get tested. Check. But there's a second test. It's called the Western blot. And there are specific numbers on the Western blot that tells you if you've been exposed. Tell us what to do. So if, with, if a person has Lyme disease, what's the remedy? Well, if you get it early, you can cure it. So if you take certain antibiotics early on, you can knock it out of your body. The problem is if you don't get it early in the first month or two, it goes on to chronic Lyme disease. And that's where the controversy lies is. What is chronic Lyme? The doctors are debating at this point. Mm -hmm. Do you treat it with antibiotics? Don't you treat? What I have found is it's not just Lyme. These ticks are containing multiple bacteria, viruses, parasites, like malaria organisms. Mm -hmm. And that's why people are staying sick. It's not just the Lyme. It's all these other bugs that are getting into people's bodies. Okay. Wow. Interesting. Yeah. A, lot, a lot more. It makes you t it's, t it's terrifying because yeah. you want to be outdoors yeah. this time of year. I live outside. Everybody yeah. does, you yeah. know? Uh, no, you, ha you have to be careful with the ticks and really do prevention. Uh -huh. So you can put permethrin sprays on your clothes. You take them outside and you spray, spray them em. to protect yourself. Okay. Um, DEET in case yeah. it's really sure. a problem. Okay. And you always do tick checks when you uh, come inside. Thank, Thank you Dr. so much, Doctor. Thank okay. you so much.